today is a very exciting day. We have, uh, it's, it's the opening of this new gallery called LA Underwater, uh, which showcases fossils that have been found around the, the, the greater LA area that highlights the very long um, underwater history that uh, this region has had since the end of the age of dinosaurs up until a few million years ago. This exhibit really is about LA, about what community members have found in their backyards and it, how it tells the story of this place being underwater for 90 million years. I actually love the Lincoln Heights whale, which was on exhibit here for a long time and taken off when the Marine Hall closed. And so bringing it back and restoring it, our preparators restored it beautifully, connects it directly to a community in Los Angeles that actually feels very close to it. That's my favorite one. And I don't know that people really think about the fact that there were whales above the land. <laughs> That's now, right, it's the exposure of that fossil history and the story of how dynamic this planet is and how old it is. The artistic renderings are authentic. The scientists worked on those with the animators. You know what you're seeing is all driven from the content in the exhibition and is authentic as well as awesome. Some of the rare fossils that we have on display, particularly from my, my research perspective, are the marine mammal. We also have extinct walruses. We, we know walruses, kind of iconic of the Arctic region, but we can trace back the evolutionary history of walruses to Southern California and even Baja California. The fact that these fossils came from this community is gonna make this experience even more relevant. So people can tie themselves directly to these locations. They either live there or they visited and they know these places and here's what these fossils are telling us about what this area used to be like. I think the other thing that's really cool about it is that we have really great materials for home use and for teachers about, you know, how do you identify a fossil? What are the things you look for? And how can we take you through that pathway so that when you find something, you know, at the schoolyard or in your backyard or out on a hike somewhere, what do you do with it? This is one of the most exciting exhibits that we have here in the, in the museum. And I'm very happy to have been a part of it. So the team has additional attributes that they're going to release throughout the next two years, including augmented reality, adding fossils to the maps, and additional educational tools. So it will be continuously updated, and I, I hope that people keep coming back to see it.